Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Smash JT. And honestly, I know I said I was gonna make less videos, and I truly mean that. My intention and heart are in the right place. But I came across this news article and felt like it was pretty important to bring to you. Not because it's a wild story, but more so because I'd be interested in your take on this. As with all of my videos, I'm very interested where the community stands. If you think something is crazy or normal, or if this is a direction we should be moving in, especially in the retro game field, because there was a copy of the original Super Mario Brothers on the NES recently sold at an auction for over $100,000. Original Super Mario Brothers copy sold in an auction for over $100,000. And at first glance, you start to wonder, what the hell is wrong with people? Some people just have way too much money to be spending if they're able to drop over six figures on a game that printed millions and millions of copies. But there is something very special about this Super Mario Brothers edition. The box itself was graded by Wada Games, rated as a 9.4, which is near mint, and the sticker seat has a rating of A++. If anyone's wondering what the sticker seal is, that's something that Nintendo used to seal their games with back before they actually came out worldwide selling their games. When they first released Super Mario Bros. in the United States, it was more of a test market. This was right around the time, you have to remember, during the huge crash of Atari. Yes, arcade games were all the fad, but Atari was crashing the home video game console market. Nintendo had a fantastic idea bringing Mario Brothers to the States and wanted to integrate video games back into homes again, but they were afraid of the initial cost sinking all this money into something that didn't necessarily have a market anymore. So long story short, they had a test market in New York City where they would sticker seal these games instead of shrink wrap them. And there were only a few of these circulated when they first went to test market. So yes, it's a rare game, but it's even more rare than the fact that it's never been opened and it's still sticker sealed from the original test market of Nintendo. The rarity and condition of this particular Super Mario Bros. game had a huge impact on the end price point of the sale. The same game without a sticker and with hang tab sold for around 30,000 while this one was the only known copy in existence in this condition. While the version that sold from DK Oldies was one of a dozen. So this version of this sealed Super Mario Bros may be the most rare version of Super Mario Brothers on the Nintendo Entertainment System ever existing presently. As far as what this means for the future of the sales of retro video games, it doesn't have much of an impact of those. This is a diamond in the rough, a needle in a gigantic haystack. For the most part, retro games would never approach this price point. I couldn't imagine a more historically significant game with a large enough collector base to push a price of any game ever to that point. This is one of one. As far as people know, there is not another one of these in existence. So for the Nintendo fanboys, for the gigantic Super Mario Brother collectors, this is, for all intents and purposes, the holy grail of retro video games. So from that light, it could more justify the price? I don't know. Looking at this from somebody who plays a lot of video games, collects video games, cares a lot about the retro market, I look at this and I still laugh. I cannot imagine something ever being worth that price. But clearly the people that were bidding on this at the Heritage Auction selling the Super Mario Brothers sealed sticker edition cared a lot more than the average fan. This would be more along the lines of the Mona Lisa of video games, where video games cross over the border from entertainment and go into this weird form of rare art. And from that perspective, I don't know, I still can't see it being worth that, but 
Clearly, some people did. That's where I'm gonna leave my thoughts on this episode, but I'd be very interested to hear where you guys stand on this. Do you think that the rarity of this and the historical significance of Super Mario Brothers is worth a hundred thousand dollars? This game just sealed in a box from a test market. Six figures, I don't know. Clearly you know where I stand on this, but I'd be very interested to hear where you guys stand. Let me know down in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching, and you stay smashing!